How do you know the Charlie Gale is in a movie review? And to continue my uh, theme of discussing um, the Charlie Brown animated films, or the, P or the Pants animated films, I'm going to be discussing the third film, which I think he had in 1977 or 78. This is called Race for, Your, Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown, which is the third Peanuts animated uh, show, or uh, animated film. And it came out, uh, it came out, like a, I think it was like 77 or 1978. And I thought this one, this one was a pretty good uh, film, probably not the best one, but but at least it was a good film in terms of it has a consistent story through the whole, through the whole film. And not only that, but at least it has uh, not that much padding in it. Uh, unlike in the other two films, which I previously uh, reviewed, which it had a lot of padding in it, the, this film does not have all that much padding. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Wait for Your Life, Charlie Brown, this is a film where Charlie Brown in the game goes away to summer camp for one particular summer, and they run up against a group of bullies and in the and in the camp they have this annual uh, boat race and so and the, th the three main groups Charlie Brown, you know the boys uh, of course it consists of Tra you know, Charlie Brown, Linus, uh, Schroeder and I think also uh, Franklin I think this was one, the first one that has Franklin in it and you and you had the girls who were called Pamela, Patty, Sally, uh, Lucy, you think Violet. Uh, but, but the girls are one on one uh, raft, and then of course you had the bullies in the other raft. And of course, the one along for the right is of course the Snoopy and Woodstock, which are on on the wrong little uh, raft. And of course, most most of the uh, time is with this boat race. Which took place over a couple couple of days, and of course, during the show, who who's going to win, and they get lost in the woods at one point, and of course, I'm not going to give away what happens at the end of this thing, but for the most part, it's pretty much trolling Brown the gang away in summer camp. It's, pre it's pretty pretty much what this is, and like I said, um, in terms of the film, I thought it was was pretty good because of the case of uh, it doesn't have like I said earlier it doesn't have all the much padding in the film to pad the, the film out to about an hour and 20 minutes but in terms of the in terms of the film I thought it was the only real running gag in this film was when Lucy Lucy and Pam and Pam come out with the, with the slips to vote how to go oh there's a democracy we're gonna vote vote what, what are we gonna do next so I thought okay we go um, this uh, like this one this way or, or that way, and it does get a little bit tiring because they kept kept doing it through the whole the whole film. But of course, when they get to the end, of course, the train Brown's boat gets uh, destroyed. The bullies get caught. Uh, that that boat gets. Uh, crashing on a bunch of rocks or a reef or something, and and, and they they get caught up, and they not gonna win. But guess who does win? You're not gonna you're not gonna believe who who, who wins this race. Uh, but let me give you a tip: it's not Charlie Brown, all right? Charlie Brown, of course, never wins anything, so so it's not gonna be him. And it's not Snoopy either, or the bullies, or the girls. It's well, okay, I'm gonna spoil spoiler. Woodstock wins. Uh, if, if you if you can believe it, and the and the trophy they give wood is tro is about like three times the size of uh, Woodstock, but but in terms of the but in terms of the film, and it, it is very very good film. Uh, yeah, because at that time I went to summer camp, not sleepaway camp, but I went to day camp when I was a kid, and so it could kind of relate to what was going on, and, and not exactly, but a little bit in Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown. Uh, but in terms of the film itself, I think it was a good film. Uh, it did improve the storylines in, in terms of the animated movies. In terms of not having the pan uh, once again bring up the panning again. But the th but unfortunately, after the next film, 
that's when they told Soul Society not to do any more anime movies. Uh, which is kind of a shame, because they could have had more anime and films, more longer adventures than, you know, they had any specials to be all you used to seeing on television. Uh, which, which is perfectly fine. And of course, we all grew up, at least my generation, we all grew up watching all these different holiday specials and different specials that told all different topics of, of the Beano shows. But I guess Charles Schultz preferred to do the anime specials, even though over the years he didn't like these specials after a while. But but that's my review of um, well, for Rage for Your Life, Twilight Brown. It's definitely one of the I haven't seen it's the, the third best one. I think all of them are good are good in some ways. Uh, but, but this one is good because of the no panic. And it consists of the story for pretty much the whole the whole movie and not too many in jokes except for the one with the vo the voting routine. Uh, so that's my review of Race for Your Life Trying Brown. I know, know it's a pretty short one. So please feel free to rate the video, please click on it. Feel, feel free to comment on it. Please subscribe to my channel and please forward this video onto your Facebook pages. Thanks for watching. Please check out my other videos and catch you next time.